Pastor Matthew here, and I want to welcome you to what you could say are six weeks of miracles. Over the next six weeks, we are going to be diving into a brand new series coming from a book written by a good friend named Jeff Little entitled Miracles. Hopefully you've already bought one. If not, you can get one here at the church for only $10. I'm so excited to start this because over the next six weeks, we're going to talk about what is a miracle? Like, what is what is this miracle thing? Everybody talks about miracles. Everybody wants a miracle, but what is it? And we're going to talk about how do you get a miracle? How, how do you actually experience the miracle? We're going to ask you to go on a journey with us over the next few weeks, literally to dive into a life group, which we launched this Sunday night, September 22nd at 6 o'clock. Think about for a second the imagination of your kids with the tooth fairy. I mean, there's some cool moments in time there, right? I, I'm kind of missing those now that our kids aren't necessarily believers in those things. But like the Tooth Fairy, a lot of people make up their version of who God is. You know, the, the Tooth Fairy, you know, is really us, me and the coal. But a lot of us have made up our own version of God, just like we have the Tooth Fairy. You get a sense in their own and mind, instead of allowing God to be who God is, you start to, to come up with these ideas uh, to say, hey, this is who God is. And I just want to turn us back to the scriptures real quick to Psalm 77, 14, where it says, you are the God who performs miracles. You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. So I just want to let you know that over the next few weeks, we're going to learn the Bible. We're going to get closer to Jesus. But I'll be honest, it's not easy to make sense of some of these miracles. I mean, there are people even you maybe today, who struggle intellectually with this idea of miracles. Some of you are intrigued by the idea of miracles, and some, you believe in them, and you're expecting a miracle. Maybe you're even praying for one right now. There's also three other groups. There's those that are calling for help. If you've got a big enough problem, you'll go and ask for a miracle. If the diagnosis that you received wasn't what you wanted, if your marriage is struggling, your kids are kind of going crazy, maybe there's struggle on the the work front, you'll call out for help once the problem gets so big that you can't handle it. There's others of you who you're trying to figure it all out. I believe in miracles, but it's really not working out, Pastor Matthew. You're kind of trying to crack the code of what is a miracle. And others of you, you're engaging the complexity of these miracles. There's tension. Like, why are they so common in the Bible and so hard to find today? We struggle with the magnitude of what happened in God's word versus what we see today. I want you to know that in the, the coming weeks and days, we're going to dive in and we're going to look at miracles. Come back tomorrow and dive in with me again as we take another look at miracles.